Hi, this is Ben Marshall from radioparts.com.au and today we're going to have a quick look at the DAC212, a little digital to analog audio converter. Let's take a closer look at DACs and see if one of them might be useful for you. A DAC is a digital to analog converter, in this case a digital to analog audio converter. It will take the optical or coaxial digital output from a device and convert Look, I've only got a minute or so until the other one gets back, but this is normal Ben. Geeky Ben's going to come back at some other stage. He's probably going to ramble on for a couple of minutes about digital analog converters and how they do this and that and you know, audio formats and all that other boring stuff. Well, okay. What you need to know is, do you have a TV that doesn't have a headphone output and you want to use headphone out, headphones with it? If you do, buy a DAC212 or investigate your local equivalent. That's all you need. Okay? Now, I've got to go. He doesn't let me out for very long and I think I can hear him around the corner. And converts it to a stereo analog line level signal. So a common use at home would be if you wanted to put a set of wireless headphones like our WDH11 set here from the audio output of a TV. Now if the TV's got a headphone jack then you're ready to go. But what if you've got distortion through that headphone jack? Or what about if your TV doesn't have a, a headphone jack itself? That's pretty common with most modern TVs. They have optical or coaxial digital outputs, but no headphone jacks. So, that's where a DAC can help. Connect the optical or coaxial from the TV into this DAC, then plug your headphone into the DAC. Hey presto, you're up and running. But not all TVs are created equal, and neither are DACs. The converter in a DAC can only handle certain audio formats. So if you think of it like languages, a translator might be fluent in English and Spanish, for example, but if the TV channel is in Danish, comparatively speaking, then the translator is not going to know what to do. So, TV channels are broadcast with certain audio formats. Each TV knows how to decode those and push sound to its own speakers. But if they can't process the audio signal into a more generic PCM format, then a simple DAC won't know what to do. So you might need to get into your TV's audio output settings and set the digital output to PCM if you're using a simpler DAC. However, the DAC212, we're using a licensed Dolby Digital and DTS decoder, which means that you won't need to change anything in the TV. So you simply plug in the digital lead, so here, and use the output from our little prison TV, the 15 inch Wintel, and we connect it into the coaxial input on the DAC. We switch it from SPDIF, from optical, over to coax. We plug it in to the power and then we connect the audio output into the audio input on the headphones. Turn those little beasties on and we've got wireless audio straight to the headphones. Very, very simply working. Now, one little thing you might have noticed as I went past, the input power on this is actually a USB. So, if you've got a USB out on your, on your computer or on your uh, Blu-ray player or your TV, you could get a USB to mini USB lead and connect it to this to power the unit, meaning you don't need a big wall warp power supply as well. Otherwise, we do include the wall warp power supply with the unit too. It really is the best way of getting clean, multi-format audio from your TV to a stereo system or to a set of wireless headphones. Very, very, very simple. So, I've been Ben Marshall for RadioParts.com.au and that was just a quick look at the DAC212. You can find it and more at RadioParts.com.au. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter or on Facebook and you can also go to our YouTube page for more videos like this one. You can also leave us a like there, subscribe to our page, and please leave us a comment on the video if you have any other suggestions for videos to come or anything about this particular product. Thank you and have a fantastic day.